hello children so now here I am with the part 2 video uh, for the numericals which we are doing from the chapter laws of motion we are doing exercise number 3 C uh, and we have 5 questions which are remaining out of 5 I will be solving 4 questions for you all and I will be giving or I will be leaving 1 for you all as your assignment for the home ok you can try it yourself and if you are not able to do it you can just let me know in the school group alright ok so and the first question that I am going to discuss today or I am going to solve you uh, for you all today is question number 10 question number 10 let's read the question a cricket ball of mass 100 gram ok moving at a speed of 30 meter per second is brought to rest by a player in 0 0.0 zero three second find the average force so you are asked to find force applied by the player so the four circles which i have drawn on the question are the four information which are given in the question or provided by the question so as you all know we always follow four rules whenever we are solving numericals in physics so first rule is to jot down the information which are given or provided in the question under the heading given so first circle here is 100 gram 100 gram gram is the unit of mass so this is m that is mass moving at a speed of so i'll write that is initial speed that is u 30 meter per second is brought to rest so see the ball was moving was in motion now it is coming to rest so its final velocity will be zero because the ball has come to rest okay and this activity is done in how many seconds 0 0.03 second means that is your time so these are the information given which you have jotted down under the rule number one rule number two is to compare the units now mass is given in grams which is the cgs unit of mass meter per second is the si unit of speed or velocity and second is the unit of time so velocity uh, sorry the speed and the time they have the units which are in si but the mass has a unit which is in the cgs so first of all we will now convert this 100 gram into kilogram so how do we convert by dividing it by 1000 so 0 0 0 0 gets cancelled okay so i'll have 1 by 10 1 by 10 means 0 0.1 kilogram so now I have all the units in same system. So rule number two is over. Now I have to follow rule number three. That is why I have to use the best relation. Okay, now since I've been asked to find force, but you know the formula to find force as per Newton's second law is F equals to MA. So I need mass and acceleration to calculate the value of force. So mass is given in the question, but acceleration is not there in the question. All right, so first of all, my motive will be to use the best relation that is to find the acceleration so we know the relation for acceleration is given by a equals to final velocity minus initial velocity or you can consider speed here divided by time so which means uh, the final velocity is zero okay minus initially it was running uh, sorry moving at speed of 30 meter per second so i'll write 30 so 0 minus 30 divided by 0 0.03 alright so now this after uh, subtraction I'll get 30 divided by 0 0.30 so when I remove this decimal I'll have 100 which will go in the numerator so 30 into 100 divided by 3 so 3 ones are 3 3 tens are 30 so I'm getting the answer in minus 1000 now since this is acceleration so my unit will be meter per second square or you can write this unit as meter per second square in any way you can write but don't mix them together all right so this is my acceleration clear now my motive is to find the force so now okay you do it serially since i don't have a space here so i'm writing at this corner okay so now okay by newton's second law of motion f equals to m a or mass here given in the question is 0 0.1 okay 0 0.1 kilogram into 1000 
so this one decimal gets dropped by this zero so i'll left off with 100 so 100 into 1 is 100 and now since this is force the unit of force is newton so i got the force okay and then you follow the rule number four that is to write this statement so the statement will be the average force applied by the player is 100 newton so you write here okay the average force applied by the player is 100 newton all right so this is how we will solve question number 10 okay now you can pause the video and try it yourself in your copy okay now let's move to the next question so the next question for today is the next question that is question number 11 let's read the question okay question number 11 a car here we have car in the earlier question we had a cricket ball but here now we have mass uh, sorry car so car is going to be a little bit heavier as compared to a cricket ball so here we have the car whose mass is 480 kilograms so we'll follow rule number one under the heading given we'll jot down the information which are given so first the information given is mass that is m m equals to 480 kilogram moving with a speed of 54 kilometer per hour okay so that is my initial speed so u that is denoted by u it is 54 kilometer per hour okay is stopped stopped means its final velocity will be zero because now there is no motion when there is no motion there is no speed all right by applying brakes in 10 seconds so second is a unit of time so t is 10 second all right so rule number one is over again we have to find force okay so we have jotted down the given information given in the question now the next rule is to compare the units kilogram is a unit of mass second is a unit of time but kilometer per hour this kilometer per hour is not the si unit of speed si unit of speed is meter per second so i need to convert this 54 kilometer per hour into meter per second so how do i do i just multiply by it with a factor 5 by 18 so i get 18 ones are 18 18 threes are 54 and 3 fives are 15 so i get 15 meter per second this is my okay initial speed okay of the car that is 15 meter per second so this is nothing but the conversion of 54 kilometer per hour 54 kilometer per hour say meter per second 15 meter per second all right now the process is exactly similar as the one we did for question number 10 okay so we have to find force to find force we need mass and acceleration as i said you in the earlier question you know the formula f is equals to m a okay i need mass and i need acceleration mass is given in the question but acceleration is not provided so rule number three use the best relation so the best relation here will be the relation to find acceleration so we'll write we know from the equation of motion isn't it you can write okay we know from the equation of motion if you want to if you wish to write you may write but if you just write we know that will be enough we know a is equals to v minus u by t which gives me uh, v initial speed is zero minus final speed uh, sorry final speed is zero minus initial speed is 15 so zero minus uh, 15 and the time taken for this activity is 10 so i'll get minus 15 by 10 which means minus okay uh, 1.5 meter per okay meter per second square that is the unit of acceleration now here we are getting minus in the earlier solution also we got minus here also we are getting minus this is just to indicate that this acceleration is a negative acceleration that is retardation because the car is stopping stopping means its uh, speed will slowly decrease isn't it so its acceleration is going to slowly decrease that is we are going to have negative acceleration and to the negative acceleration what we call we call it as retardation so retardation is taking place here. all right now let's come to the main motive that is to find force now okay from you can write this from newton's okay second law of motion f equals to m a mass here is 480 into 1.5 that is my acceleration so what happens this zero now drops this 
decimal so i'll have 15 now so i'll get 48 into 15 so when i multiply 48 by 15 i'll get 720 newton so this is my force okay so you write the statement following rule number four so as you all know i have set four rules whenever you are doing numericals in physics rule number one to jot down all the information or of physical quantities that is given in the question rule number two to compare the units and bring all the units in same system if they are not okay rule number three use the best relation to proceed the numerical or to begin the solution for the given numerical and rule number four to write the statement at the end so here you need to follow rule okay number four that is write the statement okay that i leave up to you okay so write it i'm not going to write here you have to write it by yourself now let's go to the next question so whenever you are uh, not able to catch up you can just pause the video go back and again see okay all right now we are coming to the next question question number 13 uh, sorry it's question number 12 all right so now let's read the question so a bullet of mass okay 50 gram is moving with initial velocity 100 meter per second strikes a wooden block and comes to rest after penetrating a distance of 2 centimeter all right so as a circle here you see these are the information given in the question calculate initial momentum calculate final momentum calculate retardation and then calculate resistive force means force so four questions are there four information and four questions number one is to find the initial momentum number two is to find the final momentum number three is the retardation so we are going to get uh, a in negative okay and the force okay so let's follow rule number one again the rule number one under the heading given okay m equals to 50 gram mass of the bullet okay with its initial velocity initial velocity is denoted by u so i'll get 100 meter per second now whenever you have initial we are going to have final now since the bullet is coming to rest so its final velocity will be zero and it is coming to rest after penetrating the target so here suppose here this is my target okay so here i have the bullet this bullet whose mass is 50 gram is striking on this target and penetrates Gari in Jayavitra. Okay, Kati centimeter, 2 centimeter. So that will be my displacement. Okay, or the distance moved by the bullet. That is 2 centimeter. So these are the information which I have noted down here. Now, rule number 1 is over. Rule number 2, compare the units. So mass is given in grams, which is a CGS unit of mass. Uh, velocity uh, is given in meter per second. Initial velocity is 100 meter per second. So 100 meter per second. Meter per second is the SI unit of okay so here meter per second is the si unit of uh, velocity and here centimeter is the cgs unit of distance so here this and this are in cgs okay so this has to be converted into si so how do you convert by dividing by 1000 because 1 kilogram kati thousand unza grams unza 1000 grams all right so 0 and 0 gets cancelled so i'll get 5 by 100 which means 0 0.05 okay 0 0.0 5 kilogram and i need to convert the centimeter into meter how do i convert by dividing by 100 i'll get 0 0.02 meter so now i have si unit of mass si unit of displacement and si unit of velocity so all the units are in same system rule number two over rule number three use the best relation so for number one i have to find initial momentum how do we get momentum momentum is mathematically i have taught you is the product of mass and uh, what velocity mass into velocity so now since here we are asked to find initial momentum so we'll write initial momentum equals to mass into initial velocity because we don't want initial momentum so we have to use initial velocity so i'll get 0 0.05 this is the mass after i have converted though mass is given in grams in in the question but i have to use the one which i have converted into si that is 0 0.0 5 into initial velocity was 100 so this two place decimal and these two zeros cancels each other and i'm left out with only five so i'll get five okay kilogram meter per second this is the unit of momentum so initial momentum is five kilogram meter per second let's go to the next question next question is final momentum 
So final momentum is equals to mass into final okay, velocity. So mass is 0 0.05 into initial uh, sorry final uh, velocity of the bullet is 0 because it's coming to rest. So anything multiplied by 0 will give you 0. So the final momentum is 0. All right. Then we have to find the retardation. What do you have to find? Retardation. So that is A. So how are you going to find A? We are going to find A by using the equations of motion. All right. So next question is to find the retardation. Retardation question number three. Question number three is retardation that is A. So from equation of motion, okay, from the equation of motion, you know V square equals to U square plus 2AS. This is the equation, or if I make A as the subject, I'll get minus A equals to U square minus v square by 2s that is how I get the value of a so now I have to put the values initial velocity was 100 so 100 square minus 0 okay I square I I'm not supposed to put the uh, square here on 0 but I'm just putting it just to make you realize that there was a square there is a square on initial velocity as well as in the final velocity okay so 2 into the displacement here is 0 0.0 2. So, how much I get now? 100 square is 1,000, no, it's 10,000, okay, minus 0 divided by 0 0.04. Now, I'll get 10,000 minus 0 is 10,000 into, when I remove this decimal, okay, that is 100 will go in the numerator and I'll be left with 4 in the denominator. So, 4, 1's are 4, 4 in 25 is 100, so I'll get 25 and how many zeros four zeros now I when I write this in exponential form so 2.5 I'll write so I'm putting decimal somewhere here isn't it here I'm putting the decimal here so after this I have one two three four five five digits I have isn't it so I'll write multiplied by so 2.5 into 10 to the power 5 why 5 because after decimal after 5 okay after this point there are five zero 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 so four and zeros and one five that makes four five digits are there so 10 to the power five and since this is acceleration meter per second square all right so here i'm getting minus a so that means retardation so i'll get rule number four follow the uh, rule number four that is to write the statement all right now the last question question number four is to find the force okay so now you write this statement write this uh, sentence here okay now from the second law of motion you write this in proper word f equals to m into a okay f equals to m into a mass here is 0 0.05 into acceleration is 2.5 into 10 to the power 5 okay so here what happens when i multiply 0 0.05 with 2.5 i'll get 0 0.125 into 10 to the power 5 which means what happens 0 0.125 into 1 2 3 4 5 zeros here so 3 plus decimal with gets cancelled with these three zeros so i'm left with 1 2 5 into 100 which means 1 2 5 and 2 zeros newton newton is the unit of force so i have the unit as newton all right so this is how you will do question number 12 okay and after this you will write the statement at the end to complete your rule number four okay so you can pause and copy and or you can try by yourself okay now let's go to the last question for today question number 14 now question number 13 i'm not doing that is your assignment you try that by yourself all right now question number 14 question number 14 says a car is moving with a uniform velocity 30 meter per second so let me follow rule number one it's moving with uniform velocity so that is u initial velocity is 30 meter per second is stopped see so final velocity will be zero because it is stopped in how many seconds two seconds so that is my time okay two seconds is my time by applying a force of 1500 newton so force is given here now 1500 newton so it's brake 
calculate the change in momentum of the car now you know change in momentum is given by um, initial momentum minus final momentum so I, what do I need I need mass okay and velocity velocity I have I have both initial and final velocity but I do not have mass here so first my motive will be to find mass okay so let's follow rule number two rule number two compare the units all the units are in SI system so rule number two is done rule number three use the best relation now the best relation here would be to find mass first so all right now from Newton's second law of motion please write it okay f equals to m a or m equals to f by a okay 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 sorry 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 we do not have to find sorry we cannot find mass here first because what happens here okay so first of all we need to find okay first of all we need to find acceleration so let me erase this okay I cannot find force here because to find force I need acceleration which I don't have so first of all I'll find acceleration all right so uh, acceleration so first of all I'll find acceleration so I'll write from equation of motion okay acceleration that is a is equals to final okay uh, velocity minus initial velocity by time so I'll get 0 minus 30 by 2 I'll get minus 30 by 2 that is minus 15 meter per second square so I'm getting the answer in minus why because this is retardation here all right so now I have acceleration so now I can find the uh, thing force uh, sorry mass light force is already given in the equation okay now let's try to find ma uh, sorry acceleration here so how do you find acceleration from the equation now from the Newton's second law of motion so from Newton's second law of motion okay please write in full m f is equals to ma or from here what do I get I get mass mass is given by f divided by a okay now when I make mass as a subject I'll get 1500 now the acceleration has been found out just now by 15 isn't it so 15 ones are 15 15 ones are 15 and two zeros there so I'll get the mass as 100 kilogram is that okay now we come to the question we have to find the change in momentum so I'll write number one change in momentum okay equals to final momentum minus initial momentum please write in full words okay so final momentum is given by m into v minus m into u so m that is 100 here so 100 into 0 minus 100 into initial velocity was 30 all right so let me move a bit up so i'll get 100 into 0 is 0 0 minus i'll get 3000 so here i'll get 3000 okay and the unit will be kilogram meter per second so this will be the change in momentum i uh, i am getting this answer in minus because the acceleration used here is negative acceleration all right so this is just to indicate that the body is having uh, retardation that's all okay that is question number one question number two i have to find what what the question tells me to find to find me the uh, thing acceleration so or okay mm, retardation so retardation for number two okay equals to uh, v minus u by t you know the relation isn't it so zero minus 30 by 2 that is minus 30 by 2 that means minus 15 meter per second square again i'm getting the answer in minus why because this is retardation all right okay then 
question number C okay number 3 what do you have to find we have to find the uh, mass isn't it so now again from Newton's now from Newton's second law of motion F equals to M A or M equals to F by A you have the force given in the question that is 1500 Newton divided by 15 so 15 ones are 15 1500 times I'll get 100 kilogram and don't follow forget to for, uh, follow the rule number four that is to write this statement so write the statement for all these three solutions all right so that's all for today you need to do question number 13 by yourself as your assignment all right thank you